Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change your gamer tag um, on Xbox Live. This isn't how to change it, this is actually how to uh, make a mod a gamer tag. But, I mean, that could be changing it because when you make a mod gamer tag, it look, if, if you didn't make it like colors or buttons, it could look like that was your gamer tag. Alright, so first thing you need to do is get a basic USB drive, just a gig or two. Uh, that's all. Just make sure it's at least a gigabyte of space. You want to plug it into your Xbox in a little USB port in the front. Then you want to go over to system settings. You want to go to memory. And you'll see over here memory unit. That, that's what your USB stick is. When you first click on it, it'll probably say format. You're going to have to do that if you never plugged it into your Xbox. Um, and it'll take a while, but when it does this, it does, um, when it deletes everything on the USB stick, so when you're doing it, make sure your USB stick doesn't have anything important on it, because, um, it'll delete everything on it. Alright, so once you do that, and you have that formatted, it should come up down there. So, now you want to go to 20 gig hard drive, or whatever, how big your hard drive is, it'll, it should one of them should be say hard drive and it should say like Microsoft next to it then you want to go to game profiles go to your profile and you want to say move now make sure this is the, the Xbox Live gamer tag uh, profile that you're going to be using with the Monty gamer tag so you want to go to it say move and the, so it may say that if you're signed in, because mine just automatically signs in. So now you want to go to memory unit, and it will say that. All right. See, it's gone from here. And while I'm in here, I need to delete this. Hold on. All right. So now, as you can see, I have a lot of other modded profiles, and um, usually this will be the uh, gamer picture. The thing is, uh, this does take away your gamer picture when you're doing this. I believe uh, it is for mine, so I mean that's not that important, but yeah. So once you do that, I just go and check gamer profiles, make sure my things on there, and then once you do that, we're gonna need to head to the computer, and yeah. So let's go over to the computer, and I'll see you back here in a little bit. All right. So now you want to uh, plug in your USB, and this may come up. Just ignore that. You want to go in here, and you want to say file open device you want to keep on clicking until you get to your profile I don't have it here actually because um I already moved it back but you're gonna see it and it's gonna be right here you just want to say extract and you're gonna extract that to your desktop and you get a file like this now you want to go into easy GT one of the other programs that you have downloaded you want to go up here say file open and you want to go wherever you saved your, you extracted your profile. For me, it's my desktop. And it's going to come up right there. You want to um, delete whatever it is and just do whatever you want with it. So I'm just going to be, my gamer tag is going to be A, B, X, Y, right, right, left, left. There's my gamer tag, right? And, uh, once you do that, you want to go to options, model profile, and if this is your first one, make it zero. But you need to, if you make a second model profile, you want to do one. You just want to keep on going in order. But the only thing about this is, you want to make sure this number or letter isn't the same as the last number or letter in your profile. So see, mine is C. So I, whenever I make, if I ever I name mine, I never want to name mine C. Make my model profile number C because that will mess it up so just make it whatever you want this is my second one so I'll make it one and then you just want to say file save just save that to your desktop and I'll save a little folder once you get that folder you want to open up Modio you want to go to the little M in the top left hand corner and you want to go open a file from computer and you want to go wherever that folder is or was and you want to open it and keep on clicking till you see the thing and now open up and it's gonna look like this 
and you want to go to the bottom of it where it says rehash and resign right down there you want to click that and it will say rehash and resign wait for it to say xbox 360 dashboard again and now you just exit out of all of this and you have this and you just want to go back into a USB Explorer and then you want to say file open device and you want to go to content click it once and then just drag this folder right in here let it go and then it'll come up with a bar down here and just wait for it to say done once that bar right down there is full it will say done at the bottom and once it does that you just um, just go back to your Xbox and I'll show you what to do from there so thanks alright so we're back on the Xbox and now we want to go over oops want to go over to system settings again want to go to memory want to go back to your memory unit that which is your USB stick want to go to gamer profiles and want to take both of them want to go to your normal profile move uh, you have to sign out again if you're signed in move it to your 20 gig hard drive or whatever your hard drive it'll do really fast don't worry if it's taking really long that is a weird sign like you'll see how fast this is how fast it takes it takes like 20 two seconds to do it all right so now you got all that now i just do this on my dashboard before i start up my warfare 2 just want to sign out of this sign out of your uh, oops Sorry about that. You want to sign out of your profile. And you want to sign in to your modded profile. Uh, I'm going to use actually my one that I like to use a lot. This is uh, actually what I use a lot of times when I'm using my modded gear tag. And when you click on that and sign in, it'll come up with this. Now, you just want to press the X button right here and make that go away. And it will say that, whatever. And you want to click on Modern Warfare 2. And wait for that to load up. Alright, now, it will probably, it will always ask you to do this whenever you use a mod profile. It's kind of annoying because you have to change it every time. Uh, but whatever. So I'm just going to like do random stuff because you don't have to do it right now. You have to do it later. Adjust it for real, so. I don't want to be offended. You're not going to me again. You want to go to multiplayer. And it will ask you where to save your stuff. Just do your, 20, your hard drive. Now, you're going to want to click on Xbox Live. Remember, you're signed into your uh, modded profile, not your regular profile. And it will say the current profile is not allowed to play on Xbox Live. So you say OK. And then you scroll down till you get your regular Xbox Live gamer tag, like your re your regular account. I want to click on that, and it'll say signing in. And I just want to click on Xbox Live again. Now it may say that if it keeps on doing that, just wait. But if it takes a really really long time, just press back and try it again. And see, there's my modded gamer tag. I don't know if you can see that. But it says baby Jesus. Um, what you need to do now, just you know, go on a search and destroy. See my things the same. Um, what I always have to do though is change my brightness, just so it's a better brightness. You know, change my margins. This is not my real margins, but you know what I mean. So that's what I have to do. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have fun with your new gamer tags. Thanks. Bye.